Welcome in YouTube as we, I'm going to be doing a first look video on Terra and Victa. I have not played this game. I have not touched this game. I haven't read anything about it. I really wanted to be surprised. So uh, welcome in as we dive in to see what this game is all about. Here we go. Okay, so for our first look, I'm, I'm going to start a game. We're going to look at the different settings. We're going to look at the layout. I'm going to get probably about, I'm going to try to keep this video to like 20 minutes of gameplay and um, kind of give my opinion at the end of that video. It's, I've from what I've heard is that it's a steep learning curve. It's very complex. So I just want to give you guys kind of an overview, brief look of like the feel of the game, how to kind of play through, and let's see if there's any kind of a tutorial that's involved. Okay, so for your first game, it is recommended to play as a resistant faction with a tutorial enabled. So we definitely want to keep that. So we'll do this. Um, okay. I tend to go normal difficulty always when I start a game. If I find it too hard, then I'll go easy. And then after I beat a normal and I feel confident, then I'll step up the difficulty because I want to learn. Um, select your faction. What's a customized faction? So faction and adjective. I guess we'll find out. Oh, display name. Uh, the sassy... <laughs> I was gonna say the brigade. I don't even know if I'm going to spell that right. I'm a terrible speller. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, Space Pirates. That's a great movie. If you haven't seen it. Or is it... I think it's called Ice Pirates. Space Ice Pirates or whatever. Hey, Borderline. Welcome in. I do a little tiny bit of recording for YouTube over... And I'm also live on Twitch. If you ever want to join me on Twitch, uh, check out my information on my about page and you can see a link to my twitch and uh you know my videos involve corgis so they want to play a little bit so we're gonna put that in the background all right so scenario modern scenario space war far okay so modern i'm sure they're gonna be adding more to that full solar system medium solar system light system i'm wondering what those mean eight factions you can choose to have less. We'll just go with whatever standard is. And we're going to hit start. And we're going to go from there. And we'll see where things take us. But the day the stars answered. The day we learned we were not alone. As a familiar sun rose on an unfamiliar universe. Some of us saw wondrous possibility. And others existential danger. The astronomers had insisted that the bright streak in the sky was no natural phenomenon. Most of us didn't really believe them until it burned through our atmosphere and crashed in a remote region, leaving only wreckage and uncertainty. In our ignorance, we fractured, taking refuge in our most primal emotions. Each of us saw what we wanted to see. Everyone loves heroes, depends on them, to save us from evil, lead us through darkness. Problem is, real heroes are always ignored. What no one understands is that being shot at is easy. The hard part is convincing someone they're drowning before it's too damn late. Okay, that was a bit loud. All right, so this is this is what we got going on. Okay, UFO crashes on Earth. An alien vessel has crashed down in the region in China. While the wreckage is unrecoverable, we suspect an alien life form escaped into surrounding country died. Just some background information. Uh, the people who developed this game were heavy duty modders for XCOM and XCOM 2. So it's probably gonna have those vibes is what I'm thinking. Those are two games I never played, but I always wanted to play. So we'll see. See how things go. They, the, those are two games I really wanted to play. Um, 
Continue. All right, this looks like a Greetings, kind of Commander. I am pleased to report the Council has appointed you leader of our organization. I am Fiona Ayawade, your Chief of Staff. While most of the world is reacting with fascination at the arrival of an alien species on Earth, we represent a small group who believes the aliens crash landing and disappearance may signify a potential threat. We intend to build an international organization capable of investigating and, if necessary, combating any danger aliens may pose. Okay. Our council is made up of some of the Earth's best and brightest. They are capable, connected, and standing by for your orders. Missions will resolve a set sequence in the weeks between mission. <laughs> so I was like, no, Space Force! Mission, so I was like, in chat, was like, Air Force! I'm like, no, Space Force! Missions will resolve in a set sequence in the week between mission phases. Defense missions will trigger before missions that are offensive in nature. While some missions are automatically successful, many are contested and require a success roll. Interesting. After all cancels have been assigned, mission select the confirm assignment. Continue. If we truly face the threat of invasion, we need to start organizing now. We are going to need global cooperation on a never before seen scale. I recommend we start tasking our counselors with gaining support in strategic positions of power across the globe. He has a political... Okay, so she kind of covers that. Each nation has between one and six control points. The number corresponds with the size of the nation's economy. Initially, all control points are neutral, but expect all factions to target them early in the campaign. Neutral control points may be acquired by the gain control council mission while the purge missions seizes control points from other factions control points to more powerful nations will be hard to acquire in all all cases uh, the rightmost control point in a nation called the executive control point also grants access to the set policy mission which allows initiating wars forming alliances and similar high level na national actions Okay. Use successful resolution of a control nation mission and you will gain a control point in that nation. Reports are still coming in, but it is clear that an alien object has crashed down on the planet. We should send a counselor to investigate the site as soon as possible. Our first knowledge of alien arrival came with the spacecraft you know, break-in in our upper atmosphere. We're crashing down. Okay, all right. Continue. And just uh, before we go any further, what I like to do is always kind of investigate, well, what does all these symbols mean? So I might end what is going on on our screen. I know we're going into welcome. As you navigate the UI for the first time, there we go. Helpful tips will appear here. Click them to receive tip guidance. Yes, sounds good. Next tip. All right, so top left-hand corner, I had to turn the volume down because their talking was so loud. I didn't realize how loud that was going to be. So this represents where you go to touch. Uh, you can go in and make your 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 set your settings from there. Blah, blah, blah. Let me just... Let's see what all these symbols mean. Resistant objectives. I'm guessing this is... Like, what's important to me, whenever I think of a strategy game, and I play a lot of different types of strategy games also tabletop role-playing strategy games, is how do you win? Because how, how you win is how you can start formulating your strategy. So I am I guess as we go, it's going to explain that to us. Assign counselor to missions. Counselor missions are the primary way to expand your reach on Earth. Twice a month, the game will enter the mission phase, during which all factions will assign their counselors to missions. Missions may target nations, control points, space facilities, and other counselors. Missions will be resolved in a set sequence and the weeks between mission phases. Defensive missions will trigger before missions. Uh, so many words. <laughs> Run the game clock forward until the next mission phase triggers. The select one of your cancels blah, 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 blah. I'm one of those people, I play board games and I know there's different types of people when you play board games, strategy game. There's a person who reads the rules, right? You always have one of those in the group. 
They're the role's master. Like, they're the, the, they're the gatekeeper of the roles. You have the other person that just shows up to have fun and doesn't really care about the games and start getting drinks and snacks and stuff like that. And then there's me who's there and like, I want to win and I'm extremely competitive, but at the same time, I'm like a kinetic visual learner. So I can read a million roles. I can have someone spout roles on me, but until I actually start doing the stuff and the things, it's just gonna go whoop. So this might be a disaster playthrough. Who knows, we might win, I might. it might make no sense, but eventually, you know, we'll pick it up as we go along. Select a mission to perform and click on an appropriate target. The Geoscape, the mission is contested. You may spend resources to improve your chance of success using the slider. After all, counselors have been assigned missions. Wow, okay. Gain control point in a nation. Control points represent key nodes of political and economic power in a nation. They grant access to the nation's resources, control over its funding priorities, and in some cases, command of an army. Each nation has between one and six control points. I'll just click out while I'm reading so it's not so loud for you over at YouTube. And six control points, the number of correspondence with the size of the nation's economy. Initially, all control points are neutral, but expect all factions to target them early in the campaign. Neutral control points may be acquired by the gain control, counselor missions with the purge. Mission seizes control points from other factions. Control points in more powerful nations will be harder to acquire. Okay. Control points. Right. Campaign. Campaign objectives are current goals for your faction to pursue. Completing these necessary. Okay, here we go. Campaign objectives. This is so we can win the game. Completing these is necessary to win the game. Got it. All right. Our first knowledge of the alien arrival came when a spacecraft air braked in. Or. Or. Aero braked? Good grief. Can I, can I, can I read and think and put things into thoughts? Here we go. In our upper atmosphere before crashing down to remote territory and apparently self-destructing. We should send a counselor to site to learn. Okay, so it's really saying we need to investigate the crash. But now we know this is how we win. Campaign objectives are current goals for your faction to pursue. Completing these is necessary to win the game. We want to win. Winning is good. General objectives. Oh... My. We've got controllers nations. Controllers nations. And then the necessary about the arrival of the aliens. We have an opportunity to establish ourselves. Okay. Industrial space. Stockpile the boost and mission control resources and use them to construct and manage engine. Okay, so we can kind of skip through this to get to this. Build spin influence to create count counselors with attributes and missions that best advance our cause. Right, so we're gonna go through the tutorial stuff first, and then we'll worry about the campaign stuff. And this might just be a whole series of videos. I have a feeling this is similar to Old World, where I did a playthrough of the tutorial, and there was five tutorials to that game, and I had to create five videos for that. And um, yeah, we're already at five minutes, just barely touching things, so yeah. All right, so let's take a look at what all of this represents along the top. I like to go left to right and then down. So here we go. We have 200 in cash reserves. Money is used to build components on Earth for our space program. Acquire many counselor or I think organize conduct certain financially or orientated missions and support our space assets. It is gained from national funding, the spoils priority. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Then we have influence. This is our monthly income, our annual income, a breakdown of our resources. Influence represents political capital, the ability to sway institutions and people pursuing your goals. It is gained uh, from favorable global public opinion about your factions, ideology, organization. I, I think in orgs, I think that's, that must be an abbreviation for organization, counselor traits, and have modules, unless orgs is something. It is also spent on maintaining your control points each month. Okay, so we have money, we have influence, 20 ops. 
Ops or operations is our ability to conduct small-scale combat and espionage operation. It's primarily gained from orgs. Have we come across what orgs is yet? <laughs> that term keeps being brought up. These are our objectives. Okay. What's this? Boost. Each point of boost represents the capability to move 10 metric tons of material from Earth's surface to low Earth orbit. Boost can also deliver items to more distant destinations as significant penalty. It is primarily generated from nations with a space program, but also can come from ORGS. That must be an abbreviation for something. I guess we'll find out. We have one mission control available. Our ships and HABs require a total of zero to operate at full effectiveness. Our mission control is provided by one from fact. Okay. Mission control resources accounts for all the staff and technical apparatus required to support our operations in space. Insufficient mission control make it much easier for other factions to seize our space assets and makes accidents far more likely. Ooh, accidents sound bad. We may not build or acquire new HABs or ships. Is that supposed to be HABs? Okay. If we do not have any mission control available, excess mission control is covered to research is okay, ver oh, excess mission controls is converted to research and money. Have we come across research? Oh, here we are. We are generating 1.2 research daily. One from, okay, so that's a breakdown of our research. Research represents efforts of our scientists and engineers. Unlike other resources, it is not accumulated, but immediately distributed according to our research priorities, which are divided between global investigations into new principles and technologies and private engineering projects that only benefit our faction. We are currently managing control points with a value of zero against our cap of 130. Exceeding this cap will reduce our income and make enemy missions targeting our control points much more likely to exceed. We may abandon control points to reduce this cost. So it's it's basically we got to think about balancing thing or increasing our counselors, administration command and per persuasion attri attributes. Okay. Oh no. Now we have water. We have a resource we have to worry about too. We have zero units of water available for space, construction, and support projects. Our daily, oh, that's not good. Water is vital for life support and the production of hydrogen, which is used in propellant and many advanced space propulsion systems. It is rare in the inner solar system, but increasingly abundant beyond the asteroid belt. It is also a source of deuterium, which is used in nuclear applications. Okay, now we have Volatiles available for space construction and support projects. Okay, is zero. Volatiles are highly reactive substances. Okay, so it kind of breaks all that down. And they are critical for life support and self-sustaining space. Habitats cover... Okay, so this is another resource we have to consider. Um, base materials. Space construction and support projects are daily income. So, okay. Base materials include common materials such as iron, nickel. All right. Uh, so we need this for construction. Noble metals include precious metals. They are used in construction and also be sold. Okay, so maybe specific. So you need resources to get people to space, provide them while they're in space. You need resources to propel them into space. And then you need building resources for compiling ships. All right, are we nuking people now? What's going on? <laughs> we have zero fissiles available for space construction. I guess that's part of fissiles. Fissiles? I don't know if I'm killing this word. Include isotopes of uranium, thorium. Okay. I'm sure a science person out there is like, oh, sass in your pronunciations. Well, you're here. Welcome to the sass. <laughs> Let's all have a laugh. We're all learning here. Okay, so this kind of breaks down what's going on over here. Uh, we've got a dateline. Uh, Do we pause? Is the game pause? Okay, I was afraid. I was like, I think we're paused. Okay, counselor intro. Okay, so what's going on here? This is go to Earth. This is view solar system. Cool. 
see if we can yep we can rotate this neat oh i like that that is really cool okay using asdw we can kind of navigate navigate all right council graphics are pretty good on that so what's all of this Is this what's going on across here? These look like different... That looks like that should be investigation, espionage. Maybe that's perception, command. Space Pirates Council. <laughs> what a great name to start out with. I was going to come out with something. I could have, I could have done like, like sassy space pirates. Show all nations. Okay, so these are all nations in the United States. Interesting. Okay. And this is kind of a breakdown of what they have. Kind of gives you a perspective on how many nations there are. So we can all just get along. Oh, that has a lot of buttons. Oh, that's us. Like, that looks intimidating. Oh, it's the United States. It's like, who's the biggest threat? Okay, and then we have... Have module, Matt. Oh, this is what a have is. It's like a space station. Okay, the, the control center for a small space station. The International Space Station. Okay, so that's... I was like, what is a have? I was so confused. Okay, so now we know what that is. This just reminds me of one of my favorite, like, sci-fi shows on Prime Video, which is The Expanse. I'm just thinking, oh, that's, that's us next! I like the music. Okay, so fleets. We have no fleets. We have nothing protecting Earth. Wow, okay. Research and development. We are not alone. Sociologists consider what the alien arrival means for human institutions. I like the music is, is, is getting loud again. So we're just going to take a quick peeky. Okay. Global Research Skywatch. So we got tech details. Tech tree. Well, I knew this was going to be complicated. Oh my. Mission to Jupiter, mission to... Okay. okay. So that was research and development, and this is Intel. The servants... Project Exodus. Okay, so these are the factions. Humanity First, The Initiative, The Servants, Project Exodus, The Academy, and The Protectorate. Goals. Oh, so as we do, I guess as we do, like, spying on them, we find out more about them. What their objectives are, what their victory condition is. Okay, that's interesting. Aliens! So this is the first thing we're going to be working on. Global public opinion. Oh, public opinion. <laughs> Current war. Russia versus Ukraine. <laughs> wow. Uh, so in the chat's like, it's reminding them of Deep Space Nine.
Okay, is this gonna keep up with like real time what's going on in the world? That's crazy. Okay, global. Okay, so, so people think we should submit to the aliens. That's the servants? Appease the aliens, the protectorate. The academy cooperate with the aliens. Oh, so this is a breakdown of the public opinion of what's going on with the aliens that hit Earth. Okay. So this is that. Undecided, 37%. That must be this. Space pirates. We're awesome. Right here. Okay, solar system. Okay, so I guess you can go to the solar system and you can start harvesting it for resources. Which you need to further expand. That's interesting. Looks like they, they used real Im imagery from like the Hubble telescope. Okay, and then we have... I don't know what transfer planner does. Missing thrust profile header. Okay. So we've looked at all this. Sign counselor's emission. I guess this is like our feed tray over here. And then down here where I'm covering it up a little bit, we got buttons along the bottom. This is Control Nation. Establishing our presence. Oops. I'm here. I hit a button. Crackdown. Temporarily disable the benefits of a control point, removing any defenses and making it easier to purge another faction. Take a control point from an enemy faction. This counselor cannot undertake this mission. Okay, so these, like, once you select them, control nation. We'll be running this place in no time. Okay. And then I guess these are different commands you can assign him to. Overthrow a government and reset its control points. Cannot undertake. Okay, so if we can... So this is letting us know what we can do. Okay, stop with that. Stop it! Ah! Fortify control points, crack down enemy purges. Increase public support in a nation for our cause. Set a majority policy. Mission resolves. Okay, so these are, I guess it's like you select, you go here, you select, and then you can choose what they're gonna do, who you have select for. I just don't want to keep hitting too many buttons and be like, what is this? Go to the ground. Go into hiding in an earth region to escape entity detection attacks. Okay. All right. So we've kind of figured that out. And then as you select them and choose what they do, I guess assign them missions through this control nation tab. That's how you get started. Okay. So I think we're going to go through this, this intro. This is your main command interface. From here, we can monitor developments across the globe and beyond, send our counselors on missions, direct research and development, and much more. Take some time to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, so we already did that. We just talked about all of this. So it looks like if you, instead of you doing what I do, which is I tend to just do my own thing, you can basically click on the intro and it's gonna take you through this anyways, and it kind of I think it's breaking it down pretty quickly. So money, um, we kind of covered all this. Ops or operations. Okay, so I suggest don't do what I do. <laughs> don't follow what Sassy follows. <laughs> I would go through, hit the intro, and just do this because it looks like it's 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 getting to the straight to the point on everything. Earth view, solar system. Okay, bring camera. Your counselors are your chief agents on Earth. And uh, late throughout the solar system, by going on missions, that, that's blocking that. That's a bit annoying. Missions, uh, the nations. Okay, so you go on missions to rally nations to your cause, hunt for aliens, or in, so it's it's got a very much like um, XCOM vibe to it. 
It's just possible to put all the nation's data in one. Also assign priorities to your control points. Okay, next tip. View details on your and your other facility. Okay, so we kind of looked at that. We don't have any fleets. Okay. Yeah, that's really annoying that this intro button is hiding this. Okay, cycle through the different nations filter. Okay, well, that's something we hadn't clicked on. Okay, here we go. So this is different nations filter. That's something I kind of missed. So that's good that they're covering all of this. So this nation, population, per capita, control points, military tech level, unrest, action, control, terrain, nations. Hmm. I am more concerned about faction control. This is the finder panel is reference list of all counselors, habs, armies, and fleets that your faction controls. So right now we control two people in the United States. Click to any object in the list to center your camera view there. You can also filter the list with the buttons at the bottom of the panel. Okay, so those were the buttons that we were playing with earlier. Um, is this, this, this is seriously a bug. Uh, Okay, so this adjusts our game speed, right? Okay, so we did this. We checked our current objectives. We know we need to investigate the alien crash. This is part of winning. Our first knowledge of the alien arrival came with the spacecraft. And okay, so we know we need to do that. Okay, we did that. Next step. I think it's done. Confirm assignments. Okay. Objective complete. We have completed the assigned counselor submission objective. You will be able to assign your counselors to, to new missions at the beginning of each mission phase, which occurs weekly and will slow down to twice per month as the game progresses. Okay. Our researchers are asking for your guidance in directing their efforts. Go to research screen and change the priority setting for one. Uh, okay, take me there. Research screen and change the priority setting for one of the public research or faction engineering projects by clicking on a cycler for a new technology. On the left hand side of your interface is the news feed. It will keep yes. you apprised of important events. Okay. Sometimes sensitive updates about our operations will also appear in the top left of your screen. So don't do what I do, which is normally not pay attention to my notifications in any game I play, which comes back and bites me because I was playing Dune um, Spice Wars and I was. All right. So that's important. Okay. Next tip. Okay. I think they said we need to go into technology and research and development and choose something. Okay, so what's going on? We have four things. Is this soci is it sociology? Are these separate tech trees? Allows faction to track alien vessels. Okay, we'll just can we double click that? Finish is required each time. Don't we want to send them on a mission to investigate the crash? <laughs> That's someone in chat going, How's mastering this game going? It was going fine until I couldn't figure out how I'm supposed to actually send them on a mission or, s or hit next on the, on the next to get to get the game to go to the next phase. And then it's like, now I'm like, okay, so I'm selecting this, which makes sense that you would select this, maybe double click, have him here. Okay, so I'm selecting him. This looks like a button to assign 
something. Oh, so you can go in and change their names. That's great. Oh, you can customize your counselors? Neat. Okay. I think it looks nice. Age 50. Oof. Unassigned. Okay. Chat's helping me out. I always appreciate help. <laughs> so we'll just see how it goes. But um, I'm going to wrap up my YouTube video there. So we kind of, in this video, we basically figured out how to deal with the interface. So we, we will not to deal with the interface. We, we learned about the interface. We learned about these different buttons here. And uh, we know that this is our news feed. Uh, this, and I think in the next video, what we're gonna figure out is the phases and how to assign a counselor to a mission. I think that's really what the next video is gonna be about. Cause I, I, I kind of feel like we, we kind of touched upon everything else in this video, but I really feel like the most important thing is what are the phases and how do we assign a counselor to an activity <laughs> to to a mission so uh make sure to like over like and subscribe over at youtube uh thanks for this first look i think this game has a lot of potential i just think that it's incredibly complicated so it will definitely be a series of videos uh so thank you over at youtube